Hey guys, DLR here, back with Minecraft. <laughs> okay, that is my buddy, Seven Sinful Sins from YouTube. Some of you may know him, you see him commenting on my videos. He has been helping me out with a mod while he's over at my house. Well, mainly just giving me tips. Uh, he's got some really good ideas that I'm definitely going to use for mods in the future. But the first thing we need to do is we need to grab a piece of coal, because there's been something kind of cool implemented into my mod. That's right. Yep, so we're going to put in a coal here and it is like uh, 1235 here in uh, Eastern Standard Time and uh, Reed is just over at my house so we are kinda just playing some games having fun watching YouTube videos and I kinda wanted to do this video because I, I just completed the mod wanted to show you guys what it does so the next thing we need to do I need to go back into my house because I'm a retard and and yes we're both named Reed yeah we're both named Reed so we need to go ahead and make a bucket and go milk some cows. Milk the cow. Milk the cow. Uh, I am a reed and I'm looking for a cow. Let's see. Uh, and if you're noticing changes in the texture, or differences, guys, it, uh, or at like at at range, the textures may look a little different. And it's because I'm using a thing called Mipmap, which turns down the texture uh, detail at, like, at distance. So I've got it at high right now, which is, um, it definitely increases my frame rate. Like, I'm recording at about 25 FPS right now. Let me look at Minecraft. Yeah, 20, 22-ish. So, uh, I don't see any cows that have spawned in this area recently. Uh, this is tiny here. I'm getting 25 FPS, which is pretty smooth. I know people like PBAT record at 80 FPS, or 90 FPS actually, which is just crazy. My rig could not handle that. Uh, might as well collect some seeds while we're here, right? But what we really need is a cow, because I gotta get some milk. Um, hmm, I don't know where any are. If you wait till night and you place a torch outside your house, they only spawn in the light. Oh uh, yeah, good point. Well, I've also got a... Like, my house is built on stone, so I need to find a, a grass plane. Oh, true. Very true. Because I got that, like, weird generation block um, where my house was built, and I have no idea what caused it to generate like this. In servers, I think not sh should add for, like, daytime. You know how in the world there are... Like, one in China right now would be morning. In, like, I think in certain parts of the world it should be like daytime certain parts should, should be nighttime that would be kinda cool but it would also kind of uh, take away from like some people's building experience because like if there are servers where it's only day then if it's only day in one area it would always be night in another so it would kinda corrupt it well either way it well sometimes it would be night for some people but, but um, day for other people it would like it'd be like China how it is now though well, like, what I'm saying is, um, like, if a lot of people have mods that make it so that it's always day, so, oh, and that's, you, that's what I use at my server, yeah, so, it would kind of mess it up for somebody on the opposite side of the world. I do not see any freaking cows. Um. I guess you're just going to keep messing with your fog and switching between it. Yeah. Hope for chickens and maybe a cow. Will yeah, fall. maybe. I don't know. I could put like a grassy plain right out here. So I think that's what I'm gonna go ahead and do. I'll make like a uh, five by five. Should that be good? Mm, should be. Five. Here we go. So it'll be all right. And this this item that I put in uh, will definitely heal me. So lag. I was lagging there a bit, but this Optifog plus Optimine thing is great. I'm running so much smoother with my mods. It's a, a miracle thing. Uh, hats off to the developer of this mod. I have no idea who, who you are. Um, let's, yeah, this should work, and I can just put a torch by it. Um, let's see. I really don't see any. Usually, when I don't need them, they're everywhere, and they're always bumping into me, and... Annoying the crap out of me. It's not over there. Go turn back. Turn yeah. where? Over there. Is that over there. the top of a tree or grass? No, I think that's like a, a grass. 
What are those, like, weird-looking grasses? These are, like, little baby tr pine trees, I think. I don't actually think they turn into pine trees. They still drop seeds, which is kind of weird. Okay. I don't but that, I think that is true, but it may not be. These are, look how many there are right there. This is weird. Yeah, I'm not sure if that was a wild grass that drew. Maybe it is a baby pine tree. Maybe you should just cut out until you find a cow. Um, yeah, I guess I could. Well, I also, there's also, I need to get some more seeds so I can make a farm. To do this, guys, we're definitely going to need to have a farm. So, we have some bones on us. And I'm going to go ahead and get started on an auto farm rig, and on an auto farm rig at the house, jeez. And, uh, we'll go ahead and bone meal some of that. And this is just a weird generation here. I don't know what's going on with the generator. But uh, maybe I could build the, the uh, auto farm, like right here or something. Or for now, I could just go ahead and make a regular farm. Uh, four, five, six. Two, three, four, five, six. I'll make it seven. I mean, you really only need one block of water, so yeah. it spreads throughout it. Mm -hmm. So... Just go ahead and take a water block from over here. Oh, I've got a nice hoe. pond right by my house. Yep, I'm gonna need a hoe. I get a stone hoe. There we. Okay, one more should do it. There we go. Now, does that last block of the one block of water even affect it? I'm not sure. I think it does because the other parts of it will spread as well. But we need a hoe. So, uh, an iron hoe really isn't necessary, is it? No. Stone's always better. I mean, it is a hoe after all. Yep. Okay. So, cause she's a stone. But now, now, ho. <laughs> uh, that's a good song, and I just ruined it. Oh, uh, what can How I? How many logs did you throw away? Mm oh, I have fourteen. I was just throwing some stuff in here. So, let's get back there and till the crops. Till, till the crops. Till the crops, till, till the crops. Wow, that's, is that all? No, that's just darkness on my side. Okay, so we're gonna need some light, which I believe we can just put a block, like, maybe there, and right here, and that should provide us with enough light. Um, no, put, a, put a torch up here. Now, does the glitch where you, the easy farming glitch for obsidian still work, where you place a dirt block under it, and then you till it, and then you place seeds, I mean, it, and it instantly mines it? Because that used to work in multiplayer servers for getting chests that are locked, and then you get all their items. I do not know. I've never heard of that glitch, actually. Uh, I watched Kiersha do it uh, a while ago. Yep, see, these went fertile. We're good. So, whip out my seeds. Whip it out. Whip it out. Whip out your seeds. Uh, eh, no, I may have just destroyed my fertility. <laughs> if you, if you can, I'm, I'm pretty sure you can, like, uh, sneak on them. Yeah. I think I can. Okay. So we've got enough bone meal to do this first set, and that's all we'll really need. I think I'm going to go ahead and turn most of this into bone meal. Though I may want to make an obsidian shovel at some point, so I'll just go for two right now. We only need five, I believe it is, for the uh, item I've designed. So, three, uh, go ahead and do the rest of this. There we go. Okay, so now we've got some more seeds and we've got the wheat. I'm getting a lot of seeds. I normally don't get that many from them. Yeah, I got a lot of seeds. I don't know why. But we'll go ahead and replant just for future use. And we'll have enough to complete our farm. Or at least this section of it. Um, I don't really know if I'm going to need the audio auto farm for this series. I may not, so I may just leave it like this. This nice, simple rig there. But, anyway. With the new item, I don't think you'll need it. Yep. What we've got to do is put some hay in a circle. And there we go. We've got, what is this? A tortilla. What could a tortilla possibly be used for? Anyway, we'll put that in there for now. And we've also got our uh, cooked pork, which we threw in here earlier. And let's see, what all can I put in this chest? Oh, look, you actually already did have seeds. You didn't need to go collect all that wild grass. Oh, well. We're good. Uh, anyway, that last thing we needed was the bucket of milk. So, put that back in here. Let's go find us a nice cow. 
We'll name her Bessie, and then we'll milk her. I don't see a Bessie anywhere, do you? Mm. Yeah, God. Turn this is probably the hardest part of um, the mod that I've, in well, not installed, but that I've made, actually. It's kind of cool to think that you've designed something this intricate. But we've got our tortilla. We need some milk. There's some cows. Cool. Yep, we gotta rush it. It's getting cow party. They're squeezing each other's udders. Uh, I wish I'd made another bucket. Maybe we can, um, get milk. Okay, we got milk. Maybe we could go back and get another bucket so we can make another one of these. Or we could go ahead and just make this item. Try and to then try to turn it into the item that you get after this and then yeah. go back out there with the same bucket. Yep, that's what I'll do. Okay, guys. So I I know you're probably lost at this point, but trust us. You'll understand. We need to put this in here. Then we'll need a coal. Okay. So we're just gonna wait for this to go and we're gonna quickly grab the bucket and we're gonna go go get another bucket of milk. The waiting game. So that has given us some pasteurized milk. I'm gonna take the bucket and go. Oops. Use your fog to check first. Yep. I'm gonna go out here first, though. Ugh. Let me out. Let me out of my house. Yeah. Why don't you put a trap door right there? Uh, good idea. But uh, I can actually just walk over that because there's a ladder in it. So I see a lot of skellies. I'm kind of scared right now. Truly am. Zombie. Zombie. You missed a cow right next to it, you know. Oh, there was. Yeah. Oh. Okay, we'll go back for this one. If the zombie hits me, then I'm dead. Okay. You some stone armor in your chest. Oh, yeah. Good point. So, we're going to rush back here. If I get shot by a skeleton right at my front door, then I'm going to be really pissed. Well, your spawn's right inside. Not too big. Yeah. Yeah, I guess you're right. Door. Door. And the mobs will just push themselves up here, too, which is kind of annoying. But anyway. Trap door. We've got... Uh, I think I may have just enough time to cook this one. Don't Hopefully. Looks like it should be good. Um, it, it make will it. Be good. Oh. oh wow. Okay, we were that close. But um. Oh, you shouldn't waste the coal. You could just use two sticks. Oh yeah, good point. Oh well. Or I've got plenty of coal. Two saplings. I'll go ahead and throw a uh, raw pork in there as well. But we can stack these. And throw a pork in. Not not what I wanted to do at all. Uh, put that there. There we go. Okay, so we'll cook that, and... Okay, guys, so here's what we're going to be doing. We have our cooked pork. I'm going to put that uh, there. You need the We've got our tortilla. But you need the milk. But you need the other we have ingredient. pasteurized milk. Yeah, but you need to... Turn oh, yeah, yeah, good point. Okay, guys, so uh, you may have already caught on, but what I'm going to go ahead and do is uh, take my pasteurized milk and turn that into some delicious, fresh, grated cheese. Now, I know I could have done, like, a cheese grater or something that would like you know grade the cheese and everything but that would have just been a big nuisance so I'm gonna put the cheese here then I'm gonna take my tortilla put it at the bottom and I'm also gonna have my cooked pork in the middle and what do we have oh my god we have a freaking taco so oh my Jesus oh my Jesus Christ we got a taco so this is the new edition of my mod guys uh it's a taco and it was a lot of work so hopefully when this mod is released when i hit 100 subscribers you guys will be very grateful of this but uh, i'm gonna go ahead and eat this and you'll see it heals actually it heals all of your health so even if you were at zero hearts it would still fill you up so that's basically it for this mini episode guys so thank you so much for watching remember to leave a like and subscribe if you're not subscribed already dlr and Seven Simple Sins. Signing out.